Hello ladies and gentlemen, as guardians and mutants alike, welcome to another Liam Aiden gameplay video. Back with more Marvel Strike Force today where, as the title suggests, we're going to be headed back over to Doom War to take a look at the last three nodes of Doom War Chapter 1, Node 17, 18 and 19. These are of course the nodes uh, that you need to three star in order to be able to farm Negasonic. So they're pretty important nodes, you need Negasonic at at least five stars to un lock uh, Doc Ock for your Sinister Six. Now if you've missed any of the videos that I made on the first three and then uh, the next three nodes of the first six nodes of Doom War Chapter 1, I'll pop a link to the playlist that they're in in the top right hand corner. I'll also pop it down in the description. Do check those out. But today we're going to be looking at these three nodes here, 7, 8 and 9, and the team that you need to complete these nodes. Uh, you can only use Shield, Wave 1 Avenger and Fantastic Four characters. So let's take a quick look at the team we're going to be using. So this is the squad here uh, clocking in at 358,716 power. So we got Nick Fury, Yo-Yo, Black Widow, Hawkeye, and Thor. Let's really quickly just run through them and see where I've got them at in terms of power level. So um, Black Widow, you can see here she's at 75 and gear 14. Now I think gear 14 is overkill. I definitely do not think you need to have any characters at gear 14 uh, to complete uh, chapter one of Doom War. But hey, I've already got her there, so uh, it's not gonna hurt. I've got her on Skirmisher, uh, maxed out level one, ISO eight, and she is at seven stars, but only three red. Hawkeye. Um, now Hawkeye I also have, you'll see at gear 14 and level uh, 75. Again, that's gonna be overkill. He's also on Skirmisher, ISO eight, but only to level three. And you'll notice that I have his um, passive ability, the T4 on that. I also have the T4 on Black Widow's passive ability that's so they do this call and answer thing they're they're counter attacking um, following up each other's basic attacks so every time one of them basic attacks we get a double hit Onto Yo-Yo. Now, uh, this is more the level of characters that I think we're gonna need to get through these nodes. This is the level I've been shooting for with other characters that I've been using on Doom War. So she's at level 70 and gear tier 13. Um, now, I'm really just uh, throwing Yo-Yo in here. I mean, Yo-Yo's an, an amazing tune. I'm throwing her in here because she has the shield tag. This is the Yo-Yo I also used um, on my Inhumans to get through those first three nodes. And she's got two T4s on her. The most important one is that Swift Protect or one at the bottom there. Um, now that means that she's gonna be handing out a bunch of buffs um, in terms of evade to uh, non-minion shield allies and everyone here is going to have the shield tag except for Thor um, and she's also going to be throwing offense down on to the enemy which can't be dodged and increasing her evade as well so it's definitely worth getting that T4 but you need to bear in mind this only comes into play if she's the only protector on the squad. Nick Fury the only legendary on the squad only got him at five star uh, but I really do think he is essential if you're running any kind of shield squad. We've got him in here for um, his reinforcements ability. He's going to call in some minions to help out and his rally ability well as well. So we're going to see him throwing around a bunch of buffs. I think he's going to be really crucial um, to our performance in these last three nodes. He's not an amazing legendary and I know now he's permanently um, available. People are kind of seeing him maybe as a mini legendary more in, in line with Iron Man. But I definitely think he has huge value with shield squads. Definitely worth going going after. And finally, of course, we've got the God of Thunder himself. He's sitting at six stars, um, only three red. In terms of power, the way I've got him powered up, he is actually the weakest member of the squad. I've really just thrown him in here because we need a fifth member. Um, he might be a little squishy and I might have to trade him out later, but we'll see how we go. Um, I'm hoping that he survives long enough. In, well, I'm hoping that we manage to three star them so he survives all the way through, but I'm hoping we can get some stuns out with Thor on the team. So there we go, that's the squad. Uh, let's see if they're strong enough to take us through this first node, one seven, uh, as we close out chapter one of Doom War. Okay, um, so let's see, I forgot to actually check who we're up against. Okay, Taskmaster, that doesn't look too awesome. So ta Taskmaster is gonna be my main target, I think, at the beginning here, but we're gonna open up, we're gonna call in some reinforcements. I mean, star move, why not? Nice. See, so we got that um, that bonus attack from Hawkeye there, even though that wasn't an offensive move that we opened up with, with Black Widow. Boom, so that was a minion that we lost there. Luckily, oh, so okay, so both minions are gone now. 
Oh, I didn't notice that we had blind on there. That was a that was a waste. Waste of Thor's move. Okay, bye-bye Taskmaster. Excellent. Ugh. Okay, gotta pay more attention. Yo-Yo was also blinded right there. So that was a waste of her move, but that's fine. We got rid of Black Widow. Okay, and Red Skull's come in. Excellent. Being sarcastic, of course. Not happy. Never happy to see Red Skull on the opposing team. Okay, so that's Cap out of the way. Let's try and take out Red Skull before he can call in any... Um, any minions, because that gets super annoying. But so far, so good. I mean, we've taken out three. Boom. Oh, wow. That was awesome. So those bleeds all, all came through and kind of took down a bunch of characters right there. So we're, we're acing this so far. There we go. Last four characters on the board, and we have barely broken a sweat. So it looks like for, tier, uh, for, for node 1-7 at least, this team is kind of overkill, because this is very, very smooth. See if we can drop this stun. Boom. Okay, and he got one stun out of it, but I will take it because we deleted that other character just there. Bye bye, crossbones. Just two winter soldiers. Is. Boom. Boom. Bye bye, Bucky. Awesome. Well, that was very, very smooth. Very, very convincing. I definitely think we benefited from having. Um, Yo-Yo on the squad there with those all those buffs that she was handing out and the the dodge chance um, and definitely that T4 on uh, Black Widow and Hawkeye paid off right all those additional attacks that we're getting from just using the basics there so I'm very happy with that squad let's keep this going so it looks like here we're gonna come up against okay not too bad the only character that's really giving me pause there is Magneto not looking forward to facing Magneto again uh, you know, he's a character like um, Red Skull, never like to see him on the enemy roster. So we're going to try and take him out as quickly as possible before he can use his um, ultimate to, uh, to blind everybody. All right, round two. So far, so good. Um, so we've got to take out the operators. Okay, so I kind of always... Never particularly like these ones. They're they're probably my second worst ones. The ones that I really hate are where you've got to protect civilians or they've given you some really weak version of a character that you have to protect. But operators are my, my kind of second worst. Although there aren't that many taunts. I was expecting there'd be a ton of taunts on this team. I think what they're maybe going with is uh, just some really great targets. I mean, normally Killmonger um, would be you know, top target for me here, but with Magneto there, we got to take him out first. So that probably means, I guess, this this minion is going to get to do whatever he's going to do. We're probably not going to be able to take him out. Okay, and there's the taunt on Juggernaut. So let's see if we can get rid of that. No, we cannot. We did take off some turn meter, though. Um, so that is better than nothing, but no, it looks like... Ugh. Ouch. Okay, so didn't hit everyone. It looks like Black Widow evaded, but everyone else is blinded. Ugh. Okay, that's the worst. So now we've got to basically, because we don't really have any cleanses here, um, so we just gotta just gotta have all these wasted shots um, while everybody works through that blind there. Okay, that's probably taken out a minion. There we go. But everyone else looking really good. So I'm not really not worried about our ability to do this. That um, blind there, is that all of them? No, Nick Fury's still got his blind on. Okay. So there we go. Total waste, but it looks cool. Shoots everyone in the face. There we go. Now we can get rid of Magneto. Boom. By my by Magneto. Let's get rid of this controller. Okay, there we go. So he's activated stage one of four. We can, I mean, I'm not worried about doing this. Um, we're definitely, oh, wow, a mid-battle mid, mid battle message there from Mr. Fantastic. Reminding us to uh, kill the bad guys. Thank you. Important. Important, Dr. Richards. So, um, I think overall I'm not worried about completing this. It looks like this is still going very, very smoothly. So there's been a little more um, pushback. Okay, so that's brilliant. Um, Ironheart was blinded there, so zero damage. Um, zero uh, real real threat, I think, so far on this team. Now we're going to see if we can drop a stun. 
Okay, only got one stun, but still, that's fine. I will take it. And we've got another operator we are going to get rid of. Um, two operators, rather. But yeah, I mean, I think this is this is maybe even it now, right? If we take out this operator, maybe that's the last operator right there. No, it's not. One more. Okay, this must be the last operator. So we've very nearly done this now. And yeah, look at my characters. We've lost a lot of minions, but that's about it. Um, so at this at this power level, I don't think you need to go gear 14, but if you're up near this power level, it's going to be easy. Boom. We've just done it. Super easy. Super easy. That really was um, a walk in the park. So, so far so good at this power level node 17 and 18 we just totally walked through and as i said I, you really do not need gear 14 to do this i think you could easily do this even with these characters at gear 13 and just power level 70 um, but especially you know you could you could have any mixture here um, so this is it, the final node of chapter one. This is the node you need, obviously, to farm Negasonic, and there's another red skull in it. Um, and is that five? Wow, five Psylocks. Okay, let's get some more energy, and then let's do this. Let's see how we do, and see if this squad that so far has just walked through everything that's been thrown at them, let's see if it's powerful enough to complete Doom War chapter one. Okay. Here we go. Jump to the end, we lost Yo-Yo. I'm not gonna put that in the video because it was a long battle and we lost Yo-Yo to enemy bleeds. So let's try this again. We got some Negasonic Shards, but let's do it again. And this time, I think I'm gonna trade out, rather than trading Yo-Yo, um, because I think she works pretty well, I'm gonna trade out Thor for Invisible Woman. I'm gonna sub in um, Sue Storm instead, instead. Now she's a little lower, she's only at gear 12, but I think I'm hoping that her um, ability she has to fortify and that I've got the healer ISO 8 there at level four. I'm hoping this is gonna make the difference. Let's take a look at what it does to the squad. So here we go, slight boost in power, subbing in Invisible Woman, because she's got um, that extra uh, star there. So even though she's lower gear, we've gone up like 2,000 power, which to be honest with you, it's not gonna be that that makes the difference. If we manage to three star the node this time, it's gonna be because of the different dynamics coming into play. Let's give it a shot. Okay, getting a strong sense of, of deja vu here. Feel like I've been here before. Hopefully a different outcome this time. So let's open up with these reinforcements here. So that's that's the best move. We can distract some of the heat away uh, to those minions. So 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 Yo Yo took out those minions that uh, Nobu called in there. No problem. She just ran them down with her opening move. So I'm going to try and do as much damage to um, uh, Psylocke as we can because she's really one of the big damage dealers in this first wave here. They've got that stealth up, but we've got our protection up um, with that fortify there, thanks to our new team member, Invisible Woman. So already, I, I think we're in a better a better state than we were um, last time, frankly. I know you didn't get to see that, but it wasn't, it was not pretty. So let's see if we can drop some, some blind here. Okay, yeah, we got a couple. Three. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to save um, Sue Storms. She can also throw around some stealth, but I think I'm going to save that until we really need it. Uh, going heavy on offense here, I think, for this first, this first wave. And so far, I think it's paying off. I mean, we've taken out, taken out, boom, we've taken out two Psylocks. Okay, perfect, perfect. So far, so good. I think that, that Invisible Woman really is going to give us extra sustain here. She's going to give us extra um, healing, just even with that ISO 8. But I really think her ability to throw around stealth and fortify um, folks is really going to be crucial to keeping people alive. Yeah, they're not, boom, they're not doing anywhere near enough damage here. We're in a much better position this time around. Okay, 
Now Red Skull's coming in with some Hydro reinforcements and another Psylocke. Um, so this is tricky now. Who do you go for? Because th these are all four viable targets here. The Hand Guy, you know he's going to stealth everybody. Um, you know that Crossbones can potentially do that detonate thing which causes a lot of damage. Uh, he, he's also going to taunt. Psylocke is a damage dealer. And Red Skull is going to call in those, those Hydra soldiers. So, you know... It's really difficult, I think, to choose who to go for here. Let's try and take this guy out before he stealths, but I don't think... No. Okay, that's fine. We've still got this. Oof. Look at all those bleeds. Um, yeah, let's call in some reinforcements, try and take some of this heat off. Okay, so that's the Hydra. Hydra minions have have joined the fight. Yeah, let's boom. There we go. So that that's some extra protection there for Hawkeye because he had a lot of bleeds on him there. So we'll give him a, a little bit of time to heal up. Boom. There we go. Thank you, Nick Fury. Okay. This is working. The synergy here with Nick Fury, um, with the, the operative minions that he calls in throwing around stealth and with Invisible Woman is really, really working. Um, I'm feeling pretty pretty confident about this this time. I think Invisible Woman was a good, a good sub. If I could do it again, I'd do those first two nodes with Invisible Woman, I think. Thor was, Thor was great and I liked the stuns, but Invisible Woman, you know what, she maybe lacks in offensive output. She's really really helping everyone keep it together. Now we got to do is take out old uh, Red Skull here. Boom. Bye-bye. Okay. This is it. The final six. The final six. Again, you know, it's tricky. Um, there's two two Winter Soldiers, two Psylocks, and two Crossbones. I mean, these are all really great. These are all tunes that when they show up on the uh, enemy squad, they're, they're kind of top of my list of who to target. So... Okay, perfect. Those bleeds should take care of that crossbones right there. We stunned one Psylocke. So there we go. Let's get some Fortify up. Let's try and take out, spread the damage around a little bit here. Boom. One crossbones just crumpled under the weight of all those bleeds there. That's what I like to see. Oh, fantastic. A dodge. It was only a minion, but still. Okay, and that's a minion gone there, but that's fine. Lucky he can take those out, no problem. Guess let's finish off Rumlaw. Boom. Oh, a revive on crossbones. Annoying. Okay, bye-bye crossbones for good this time. Okay, so she took out a minion. Totally fine with that. Um, I think, yeah, let's try and take out Psylocke. I'm... I'm more scared of Psylocke than I am of the Winter Soldier, to be honest. Boom. Wow. Okay, this is going really, really well. Last three tunes here. Feeling very confident. I'm pretty sure we're about to three-star this node. Boom. There we go. So Hawkeye a little squishy. I've had to, had to help him out a couple of times with... Uh, uh, with Invisible Woman, but here we go, we've done this. We have done this. Take it away. Boom! There we go. Okay. Well, that time was much better. So that was the key. Subbing out Thor and subbing in Invisible Woman with all that extra health. That made the difference. That's the three star. Now we can get to farming uh, Negasonic. Well, awesome. So slight tweak to the team, and then we did it. That is chapter one of Doom War complete. Going to have to work out what team to use as I move on to chapter two, but that is a topic for another video. Well, there you go. Um, thanks for being a part of this journey with me today. As always, comments, criticisms, and suggestions, welcome down below. I would love to know what teams you used to complete those last three nodes on Do More Chapter 1, suggestions uh, for teams to use on Do More Chapter 2, and just generally how your progress is going with MS. 
F. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me today. If you have enjoyed the video, found it informative or entertaining in any way, please consider giving it a like, a thumbs up down below, and why not subscribe to the channel? You're here already, and I drop new gameplay videos for Marvel Strike Force and Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes every single week, and I would love to have you along for the ride. Well, that is all for Liam Maiden gameplay today. I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, look after each other. And remember, with great power comes great responsibility.